Hello friends, Doug Fink. Uh, just put a new function into the PowerShell AI module. Going to show you what it does. And if you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's get started. So I have this new function, invoke AI explain. Let's take a look at how it works. It's pretty simple. It's also aliased to um, explain. So I'll use the alias. So let's take a look and if I wanted to look at some scheduled tasks. Now this comes from uh, Kai Leach on, on Twitter. He put this out the other day and I thought it'd be fun to run. Um, so when I look at this, I can break it down. I've been using PowerShell for many years and I can see that in the select, I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to use a hash table to get a name and an expression and within the expression I'm going to do another bunch of uh, calls to create that custom property called last runtime, etc, etc. So there's a bunch of stuff in there going on. So if I run that, this is what's on my system. Now if I want to, if I don't know what that means, I can type in explain. And what this does is it grabs, as a default, it grabs the last command from history and it goes out to ch uh, chat GPT and it explains what that last line of code I did. And it says this command uses the get scheduled task command lib to retrieve information about all scheduled tasks on the system. It then uses the select command lib to select all of the properties of the scheduled task as well as a custom property called last runtime. So it's already breaking down, GTP team is already breaking down what this uh, PowerShell uh, sing, single line does. Pretty impressive. Um, it goes on to say the custom property is created using a hash table and the value of the property is determined by using the get scheduled task commandlet to retrieve information about the task and then using the select commandlet to expand the last run property. Finally, the last, sorry, finally the, the command limits the output to the first task in the list. So that's a pretty good breakdown of what it does, that particular function. So now as I'm working at the command line, I can reach to explain to figure out some of the things that I'm trying to do. I can also do things like uh, if I want to do a directory of all the startup texts, right? And if I type in history, I can see that was number 32. ID, so I explain also supports um, what ID you would like to grab. So I can grab from my history the DIR text and go off to GPT, and GPT tells me this line of code is telling the computer to search for all files with the extension uh, .txt. What's kind of cool is I can also do, use like the alias. Um, ls and then I can say explain again pick off the last item in my history and it gives me similar information uh, since PowerShell AI will run on Linux and Mac OS that can also work for you there so last but not least I can also do pass in explain hyphen value get process and away it goes and for one more fun, let's see if I can do the, so if I do a get process, um, grab uh, the number of processes that have more than 700 handles, and I print out the name. I'm using, you know, the shortcuts there of question mark and percent to get the data as well as to just print out the name property, and I can explain have that exp get explained to me as well and this command uses get process to retrieve all the processes running and then it tells me the, op the question operator is used to filter and the percent operator is used to output the name so that's pretty good well that's all I got grab the module it's in the description how to do that um, and have fun talk to you later